Hi there, it's Mr. Smith. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use this Pearson Lockdown Browser. So first of all, you can see I've signed into my math lab or my lab math. And instead of going right into the assignments, I just want to mention this is the browser check that I'll refer to later. So let's click on assignments. And this is where I put in the practice for using the Pearson Lockdown Browser and Respondus Monitor. If you can use this, you should be able to go back and take test one. So let's go ahead and go in here. And the password is practice with a capital P. And once you go in here, notice it says this test requires Pearson Lockdown Browser and a webcam. So if you've never run the program before, you're gonna to wanna to download this Pearson Lockdown Browser. If you're not sure, maybe you used it recently or you think you did, you can click on view a test page. And if, if you have it, it'll go right into the test or otherwise it'll have you download the browser. So I've already done that. And so I'm ready to start the test. Now, um, actually, let's go ahead and click on that. So yes, is what we want to say here. So notice, and this is what we want here. This means that everything is good. So if you have a problem and you're not getting to this screen, there's a couple of things you can do. Number one, uh, you may want to, um, if you're having problems, get out of everything in your computer and restart your computer. The other thing you can do is go back and, and run that uh, browser check that I talked about earlier. And then there's one last thing. Um, for a lot of us, when you turn on your computer, there's certain, certain programs that start automatically. And I had a couple that I had to close. Now it says that it'll close them for you, but if it doesn't, then you're gonna to have to close them yourself. So if that's the case, um, you, you'll have a couple options. Um, if you can't figure it out, give me a call and I can perhaps help you. Not a guarantee, but I'll do my best to try. And the other thing is I may make a video if I find that people are having that problem. So anyway, the next thing you're gonna do is just kind of look through the license. Does anybody read these things? I don't know, it's crazy. So I'm gonna agree. Then I'm gonna do my webcam check. So do you see your image in the web window? And I'm going to say yes. So adjust the camera so your image appears properly in the window. Uh, while speaking in your normal voice, say the alphabet or count to 10 in the re uh, we're going to click record five second video. So let's do that. So this is basically for voice. So one, two, three, four, five. It's checking to make sure you're, uh, you're able to, or I can hear you while you're taking your test. Let's go on to the webcam two, check. Three, four, Oops. five. So actually we just hit continue. It just plays back that video. So during this exam, you should access other resources, a phone, tablet, notes, books, etc., or communicate with other people. Please stay in your seat and focus on the computer screen until the exam is complete. If an interruption occurs, briefly explain what happened by speaking directly to your webcam. And finally, remember that you cannot exit the exam until all questions are completed and submitted it for grading. So if for some reason uh, you need to use the restroom, of course I would say make sure you use the restroom, get a drink, whatever you need to do before you take your test and hopefully you won't need to take any breaks. But if you do, you'll need to explain it to the camera. All right, let's go ahead and continue on. So you're gonna wanna read through these screens. Um, they're gonna give you some suggestions. Uh, there's another one here and here. Um, these are some other tips and things to remember. Okay, so we're ready for student photo. So this is actually taking a picture of me. So I'm gonna take picture. 
So there I am. <laughs> you don't like that one, try again. I'm gonna continue on. And now I gotta show my ID, so let me do that. If I can get this right. Continue. Uh, environment check, it's basically checking your environment and uh, see if there's any issues. So I'll start recording that. Uh, stop recording. So it's gonna show a video. There we go. So you can play it if you want. I'm gonna go ahead and continue. It's checking my ID with my picture that I did and it says it's good. And so now we're ready to take the test. So notice when I click here, now I'm taking the test. Uh, I cannot go to any other screen on my computer. It won't allow me to do that until I finish the test. And so you should stay in your seat and work through the problems. Um, I would encourage you to show your work uh, for those five problems that I requested on when you take your test. At least for those five, you may want to show your work for all of them. But but you uh, you know sometimes I've had students in the past that after they take the test they go back and rewrite everything. You don't have time to do that. Write your work out, particularly for those five problems that I requested that you send to me. And, um, and you'll wanna submit that right after you take your test. I gave you, I said within an hour, honestly, you should be able to send it, or I think I said within 15 minutes, but it, you should be getting it to me pretty quick after you're done with the test. So if you want, you can practice answering the questions here, but, and then submit your test. And it just shows you how the test works. And so that's all I have to show you.